days did it take to record the drums? Uh, it was like two days? No, no. no it was no. really quick. We recorded scratch tracks and the drums, and then after Mike went and I laid down all the guitars, it took a while. And then the bass went down, and then I did my vocals, and then I couldn't do all the vocals because there's yeah, keyboard keyboards. parts that had to be laid down, especially for like the songs like Surround at the beginning part where Kevin was playing the piano. We had to, I had to wait until he put down his piano parts for Surround it and uh, Wait for Sleep. Better? The studio we recorded at was suffering uh, Bear Tracks, right? Yeah. Bear Tracks Studio? And uh, the guy that owns it is Jay Beckinsane from uh, Spire jar. We asked him to come in and uh, and do the saxophone parts on uh, another day. Eight takes, just totally yeah. improvised. Each one of them was amazing. Yeah, it was. It was incredible. Me under didn't start actually breaking until we uh, shot that amazing video, wasn't it? <laughs> well, we're in the dressing room, and uh, Dave Chica, our first road manager, comes in and says, um, You know, the record company decided to shoot some footage tonight. We got some kind of deal going. We got some, some uh, film crew coming out. They're going to do this really cheap. So uh, put on your best shirts. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's ironic how. A video that just just was like a last minute low budget put together thing ended up being the most played video off of the album. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually Take the Time was the first real video shoot we ever did. Yeah. Staged video shoot where we knew what it was becoming. We actually went clothes shopping. No, you guys did. Oh, you did. <laughs> I was naked. <laughs> I fell in love with the wardrobe girl. <laughs> you know, they think they can trick you by painting this thing red. They think that they could. They, they think that we'll think we're in Paris, but we're really in Tokyo. That's not the Eiffel Tower. It's it's a ploy. It's a hoax. Well, I'm wondering. Wow. Wow. See, I might even get that. That is mint. Actually, I'm feeling kind of spooky. All right, I'll take it. I'm sold. John, you be my laugh track. For my wife. I'll do it again. Should, should you wear this over a vest? <laughs> European translator. French, Germany, Spanish, Italy, English. Guess it. Too big. I need something smaller. You know, this is all very nice, but where's the, where's the nearest McDonald's? Traditional Japanese meal. This is sushi in here, really. Come here. We're going to show you the, the, the condoms for oh, each member of Dream Theater. This would be calves. Yeah. Or this. Or, or that. Or the cattle, because he's into moo cows. This, of course, would be James's, the radio reporter. Uh, either the boxing one or the cigarette has been elected as mine. Or the film. Or the film one. Um, we never found one for John Mayo. John Mayo. The chef. He's the chef, man, right here. He's the cook. And of course, John Petrucci's. The exaggerator. <laughs> 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 
said, I don't like Dream Theater that much, but I had a pen and some paper, so what the fuck. <laughs> Another day was the song with the most MTV p potential, and so it was the thought. song that potentially never made MTV. And we thought it would be a big radio yeah. potential song. So it just goes to show you, balls right. and chunk is where it's at. <laughs> when we were in Bonn, Germany, we got to visit Beethoven's house, Beethoven house. Yeah, actually, we did a lot of different sightseeing in Europe. Yeah. I got to... Uh, Fulfill my lifelong dream of walking across Abbey Road, which was, yeah. uh, man, that was incredible. Well, we're here. There it is. I can't believe this. Abbey Road. This is the studios. Everybody leaves their, uh, their stuff here. Look at this. I think this is legitimate red hot chili pepper graffiti. Uh, I'm going to do it the way Paul did it. I've got a, have a cigarette. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that was fucking amazing! That's a dream come true for me! I fucking love it. You hit it, Alan. Learn all you need and you I think it's great. It's gonna take a while, man. It sounds it's a lot like our final exam. <laughs> take a time. We heard Pull Me Under on the radio, and I was like, these guys couldn't be this good. I know. And then we got the CD. <laughs> we got the we CD, and we're like, well, hey, well, good to meet you. What's up, man? We're like, you still couldn't be this good. And then we went and saw you in concert, and we're like, wait a minute. You're better than that. No, no, I, right swear, I swear to God. No. Incredible. No one like him. <laughs> James LeBrie is the greatest singer in the world. He'll be pleased to hear that. I tell him. Give me something that I feel. Something that is real. Did you do that? Crazy, crazy. No. I can't do it like him. The drummer I grew up listening to for 20 years. Well, he's here.